Welcome back. So a thing that has never happened on the nest is that I have two dads, present dads, and dads who are doing what they are supposed to do. And one of them told me, hey, why are they acting like uh, when we do what we're supposed to do, we need to be awarded. You need to be thanked though, <laughs> because you're setting a very good example, especially in our community and our, you know, this uh, particular um, uh, generation per se. And um, again, Karibu sana. Thank you, thank you. It's a conversation that I was having. Yes. And uh, I was being asked whether we have a fatherhood crisis. And I was staying away from mentioning that we have a fatherhood crisis. Uh -huh. And my reason was, yes. I think it's not that we, are, we, we, we have so many absent fathers, it's yes. just that we are not celebrating father, yes. present fathers enough. Absolutely. And today is our turn. Wow, yes. I cannot wait to hear more about <laughs> that. Yes, and it's not uh, your first time on our show today, yeah. but uh, for those who have not seen you before, <clears throat> Could you please introduce yourself and tell us a bit of what you do? Yeah, thank you, Maureen. Uh, my name is uh, Jeff Dindi. Uh, I'm a father of two boys, two lovely boys. Uh, and uh, my life revolves around fatherhood. We have a, a men's and fatherhood website wow. where we write uh, articles from experts advising and uh, telling men, you know, this, mm -hmm. this, this is how to be present father. Yes. Uh, so I'm the founder. And we've been doing an amazing job with Hilary as well, I think he mentioned, yes. where we just have conversations that, that, that men have been fearing to have, yes. you know, and uh, discussing those topics. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, also, I'm also a men's coach, that is, uh, and I'm currently creating a fatherhood course, which will be available soon. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Hey, you didn't tell me all that last time. Am I leo kona? Kona mtu wako unasema sasa. Yeah. We 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 had, we had not really finalized on the details of especially the father would cause. Yes. So it is up and uh, it's coming. That's Brilliant. Yes, and so we're going to be here at your disposal and uh, even yes. personally yes. because I feel you are right. Yes. Indeed, there is a fatherhood crisis. Yes. Or as you say, present fathers are not being celebrated enough. Yes. But I feel like, who is going to celebrate them, you know? Today. Uh, today, exactly. <laughs> and I feel like the same way women have conversations. And you know, uh, women, there's a lot of things we are doing. We have women in uh, business, we uh, have tamas, we have uh, even Mother's Day is more vibrant uh, around the world. Uh, and I mean, both girls and boys celebrate their mothers. Yes. But think about it, every Father's Day is a quiet, dull day. Think about it. And here I am in your presence, you two wonderful dads, talking about a program on fatherhood. I think that is something that really needs a reward. We'll find one. You, you're right, you're right. <laughs> because uh, actually that is what inspired me to start, uh, to start a fatherhood. Because yes. when I wanted, uh, when I was beginning my, my YouTube channel, yes, yes. And I was thinking, what topic should I bring? Mm -hmm. You know, I was researching mm -hmm. and I was seeing that uh, the likes of you, yes. there were so many women yes. uh, on, on YouTube. Right. But men were very few men. They don't show up. And the second thing, <laughs> yes. the, men, the men that were there, yes. they were all comedians. And it seemed like comedy was really selling. Yes. So I was like, what area do I really want to venture in? Yes. What mark do I really want to leave? Yes. And that was what encouraged me to actually start the YouTube channel around fatherhood. Yes. Actually, when I was telling people present mm -hmm. fatherhood, they were like, what? Huh? What is that? Yeah. Will it really work? Yeah. But uh, they said, Let, let's see where it gets. Yes. And then I started. Mm -hmm. And then they saw me continue. Right. And they were like, oh, this eh? guy is actually serious about this thing. Yes. And right now they're like, oh, you are a voice Look around at that. fatherhood. You and know? you're going to be a huge yes, voice. Yes. And as long as we exist, we're going to amplify that. Absolutely amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And Karibu Sana once again for joining us on The Nest. Mm -hmm. It's a very special day for us, by the way. We've never had two, two. pleasant dads. <laughs> you know, we've had one dad. Actually, yes. when I met, uh, met Hillary, yes. and uh, we've been friends ever since. Yes. And it was because of our passion that we shared around fatherhood. Right. And when I, I you, you met me on Facebook yeah. and uh, we talked and we actually found that we had mutual friends. And when we met uh -huh. and talked and I shared my vision around fatherhood, he was like, I'm so totally right. sold out. This we is must amazing. work together and see that every person hears about this business. Yes. This, this yes. And it's, it's even it's, funny, uh -huh. the first time we met, Jeff, yes. you remember when uh, uh, it was called Mbada? Yes, Mbidi Mbada. Mbidi Mbada. Yes. 
Uh, a client of back in so. 20, when was that, around 2010? Mm -hmm. 20. He was still not even a father. Right. So we met through, it was, it was, I was supposed to be guiding him on some things okay. in terms of... I'm passionate um, about fitness. Oh, about oh, fitness. Okay. Yes. So I was supposed to be guiding him on that. <laughs> yes. So years, years, years later uh -huh. uh, is when I saw what he was doing with present fatherhood and I had been so passionate about fatherhood wow. myself. Mm -hmm. So I had moved to the US mm -hmm. for a while. Yes. So I saw what he was doing yes. and I was like, hey dude, you're doing something good. Yes. I think I'll be coming back and yes. maybe we'll be doing yes. a few things. Yes. Uh, because I discovered for the time I was away, yes. my family was still here. Oh yes. And it created kind of a void mm -hmm. between now, let's say, especially me and my son, oh, yeah. just not being oh, around, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, when I was around, because most of the time I used to work at the intercon, yes. I used to be the manager oh, at the gym. Okay, okay. So I used to have a lot of free time. Mm -hmm. So we used to spend a lot of time together. Oh, I would go out swimming and yes. just spend yes. a lot of time yes. around with him. Yes. So when I left, it really affected him. So at first, when we used to have conversations, we'd call and, you know, but after a while, it, it's never the same mm -hmm, again. Mm -hmm. So after some time, I, I could call and every time I would ask him, how was your day? He'll just go, he'll just give me straight answers and he will not tell me how his day was. Oh. And then slowly, he just, it just became a quiet kid. Oh, no. For this, I, I was away for six months. Oh, then I just decided, uh-uh. I can't do I this. want to stay here, yes. but no, this yeah. won't work for yeah. me. I know I'm making money, yes. more money here. Yes. Uh, yes. There are more opportunities yes. here. Yes. But for me now, I think fatherhood is about being there for this Absolutely. kid. Absolutely. Because, you know, there's, there's, there's that wow. time, there's yeah. that period mm. for kids, you know, emotional, that emotional balance. Supporting. Most of the time is yes. between, you see, yeah. between the age of two and six. Mm -hmm. If you're not present within, between the especially for a boy, wow. that emotional side will never, will never grow. And they become kind detached. of detached and you will never get it back. So wow. I, I used to read a lot of, mm. of info. I, I used to get information from books and yes. all that. Yes. So when I read that, I was like, no, I have to go back. You know where you're coming back, but you don't know what you're yes. going to do. Yes. You're like, I'll just find a the way. Sacrifice so I sacrifice and decide. Yes. And most people are like, especially my friends <laughs> back in the States, right. are like, dude, you're going back to you're Kenya, okay. man. There are no opportunities <laughs> yes. there, man. I was yes. like, no, for me, yeah. fatherhood is bigger than those opportunities. Absolutely. I'll find my way. Mm. I'll just find it. And mm. I did. I came wow. back. I did. Because one thing, once yes. you're a father, yes. once you're a parent, mm -hmm. and you decide, I want to be a present father, yes. God also listens then. Oh, He's going to open ways for yeah. you. Because you've decided to do something yes. that he... He, he, he wanted you to do that. Mm -hmm. And you've decided you want to do that. Right. And he must provide. Look at that. You know? So I came back, mm -hmm. started uh, new with Jeff. Yes. And uh, I could see the passion in him. And I, tell, mm -hmm. I told him, dude, let's yes. just do something bigger with this. Right. That's how now the present fatherhood and everything was born. Right. We want to go far. Yes. But we'll, we'll sit down, we'll... Mm -hmm find people who yeah. support us, just yeah. like you said, yeah. women start something, yes. chamas, yes. and yes. they're always supported. Yes. Yes. Men start something, it's so hard for even other That's people to support Especially when it comes to emotional <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, issues, yeah. issues, they scatter. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, because mm -hmm. men don't want to talk about things yeah. that become emotive, because uh -huh. they feel that is, uh, will emasculate them, kind of, because mm -hmm. they feel, yes, mm -hmm. like just you said, mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's kind of a weakness. Mm -hmm. Like if I cook for my kids, you know, that's a woman's job. Now, that's uh, what there's a word they use for that. But you see, that comes <laughs> mostly from upbringing again. True. Because if you don't build that emotional awareness mm -hmm. around your kids, mm -hmm. there's something that you don't build in them. So at the end of the day, they are not emotionally strong. Absolutely. So they're so scared of what other people will say. Exactly. If they see me changing diapers, oh. if they see me uh, walking my kids mm -hmm. maybe to, mm -hmm. maybe to mm -hmm. the clinic. Mm -hmm. I used to take my kids to clinic. Sometimes because my mom, my, my wife was working. Yes, yes, yes. So after her maternity leave mm -hmm. was so long. Oh, yeah. So now during those days, because I used to have a lot of free time, uh -huh. so I could, I'll uh -huh. just take the kid to clinic. Look at that. And I remember some, even some of my colleagues go like, dude, right? that's a cheek thing. Yeah. Why are you doing that? I'm like, it's, it's I wasn't even, you know, it, it never used to even piss me off because yeah. I was like, you know this better. person, mm -hmm. there's some weakness, there's mm -hmm. something in, he doesn't even know. So I won't even tell they you, just go know. like, ah, yeah. dude, for me, it's my kid. Yeah. So 
Exactly. You know? And that's something that yeah. as fathers yeah. we're going to build mm. by being there in our kids' life. Right. Once that is built up, yes. our kids will become present fathers yes. because of what they saw. Absolutely. Kids learn from what they see. Absolutely. Especially the experiences that they yes. go through. Yes. For us, our dad used to cook for us. Right. Because most of the time yeah. our mom used to travel mm -hmm. to shags. Okay. So yes, most yes, of the yes. time he was the one who was around oh. and used to cook. So for me, uh -huh. cooking, cleaning, yes. whatever, it wasn't so hard. Yes. Yeah? It wasn't yes. so hard. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's brilliant, right? Um, uh, I have goosebumps. <laughs> yeah, because I see a lot of privilege in your case, but also a choice. Yep. And that's something I know Jeff did. I know his, because I've, I've had his story, his yep. upbringing was so different. It was different. Uh, no father, mm. you're thrown into fatherhood, you mm. don't know where to start, know but know you decided, start. you know what? I'm still going to be a father, and I'm going to be a good one, and a mm. present one in yes. that case. Yeah. So Jeff, could you walk us through your definition of fatherhood crisis, especially in Kenya? My def oh. Yeah. <laughs> I think uh, my definition of fatherhood crisis is uh, is not that is is not that people don't know mm -hmm. really how to father mm -hmm. because I think fatherhood is very much pretty much instinctive. It's instinctive. You are born knowing what you are supposed to do. You <laughs> yes. are born knowing how you are supposed to be a father. Yes. But now your surrounding and your society uh -huh. is what now dictates, uh, di dictates how you behave and I silence see. silences that 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 instinctive right. voice that you have. Right. Okay. Yes. So this this this, this uh, entails friends mm -hmm. that you surround yourself with, which yes. is very critical in true. forming the kind of father that you true. become. Very true. You know, you know already what you're supposed to do. You know that there is nothing wrong with cleaning. Yes. There is nothing wrong with helping my wife yes. To, yes. To, to to change diapers. Yes. But. Because the friends that you have and mm -hmm. the conversations that they have is all mm -hmm. about ay manaume hawezi fanya hizo vitu bana manaume lazima you know yeah, it has to be, yeah. yeah so those are the things that now start silencing that voice mm -hmm. and you start listening to it mm -hmm. and now you come home and uh, your wife tells you can you honey can you help me change the diapers and that voice keeps on ringing because Very true. what you surround yourself with mm -hmm. is what you become yeah and then that is what now uh, leads to fatherhood crisis. Very true. Not that be people don't know what they're supposed to do, yeah. but because of what they surround themselves with, mm. the content that they true. consume, mm. and then now it leads to people who mm. just neglect fatherhood. fatherhood. And then we end up with a fatherhood crisis, and now we need to start talking about it, yes. and yet it's something that is not supposed to be there in the first Absolutely. place. Absolutely. So that is my definition oh. around fatherhood crisis. Wow. Uh, what about you, Hilary? Uh, what do you think is happening to especially this generation um, and I'm talking of generation the generation of men below 40 years of age mm. because I've experienced it and there's a real crisis I'm telling you I do not know whether it's the upgrade you see this is what I was saying it's not an excuse you are brought up the way you were brought up but you had a choice uh, to zero um, guidance, but he knew at a very young age. I remember he told me at age 12, I mm. knew the kind of father I wanted to be. What's going on? Um, for me, I'd also say, just like what Jeff has said, mm -hmm. uh, it's what we consume. You know, social media has become a very big thing out there, mm -hmm. and um, there are those things that people uh, tend to I, I don't know, I'm, I'm trying to find a word mm. of, you know, there are those things that people think are cool uh -huh. and they've found a way of being pushed through social media and ah, people go like, I yeah, see what you, mean. you know, and yeah. that has led to a lot mm. of people just doing whatever they see on social, right. you know, what is happening on social media yeah. in reality it's is totally different. different. Especially not, you know, you know, we're in a third world country, mm. abroad, Might that's be. what they show us. Yes. And you've lived abroad yeah. and you know and actually parenting especially fatherhood it's very normal to see a dad with the baby yes. strapped on him it's very walking normal. Yep. very proudly and the wife has gone to work and again uh, I, I know it's the same situation with you you've been having rural exchange with your wife um, but then you're right there's this aspect okay I, I don't know whether I'm still in the line but I, I'd like to call them like uh, social media dads yes he will uh, make sure the 
child is in a certain outfit mm -hmm. just for the picture. This is for the, yep. It's like a puppy. Yep. The children are like puppies. They look good on camera, but then in, but reality, in reality, this person is not fathering this child. Yep. They do nothing. Yep. Yeah. So we're doing a lot to just try to find that validation. Mm -hmm. But in reality, we're not doing what you're supposed to be supposed doing. To do. And there's so many fathers out there. And we're not supposed to be doing that. Yeah. We're supposed to be real. Because, you know, at the end of the day, mm -hmm. if you're not real out there, we're still damaging these kids. Very true. We're still damaging, regardless of whether it's a yeah. boy or a girl. Yeah. Um, society is broken. Mm -hmm. I started by saying that society mm -hmm. is broken right yeah. now. It's both men and women. Mm -hmm. But I'll tell you, the biggest role mm -hmm. is for the father to step up. Once the father steps up, mm -hmm. one thing I always realize in my house, it used to happen even in our house, mm -hmm. um, I would see my daughter, my daughter is very cheeky. Mm -hmm. She do she does stuff mm -hmm. and the mom will shout all the time, Taraji, Taraji, what are you doing? Taraji, what are you doing? Taraji, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. But when I'm present, the moment Taraji does something cheeky, I just give her a look. That's it. That's the end of it. It's I true. don't even need to talk. It's true. So that's that's where now the masculinity part comes, comes in. in yes. And it really helps yes. our women. Yes. Because anytime I'm around, yes. she knows. She's your not going to shout. Your authority, authority. without a crown on your head or yes. a high seat. Yep. But as a man, as a man, there's authority. There's authority. Yes. And kids know these things. They do. Because Trust it's me, in, it's do. Instinct, uh, it's instinctive. Uh, instinctive. Yes. It's natural. Yes. Once you just there, you don't even yes. need to shout. Yes. The moment you just give look them that them. look, yeah. that's it. That's it. Yep. Yeah. Jeff, you and, wanted and, to uh, make a contribution. Just mm. to add something. Yes. Fatherhood is responsibility. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, responsibility unfortunately people have skewed definition of responsibility right. when it comes to fatherhood yes. because uh, they think that once uh, I, I house these people once uh, you I know provide. I provide mm -hmm. they have food yeah. and, and, and we have a nice car mm -hmm. then now I'm a man yes and and and, and uh, I'm now I'm, I'm, I'm now responsible mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. but true responsibility mm -hmm. is something that is innate mm. it's something that you first of all have to own mm. okay mm. Um, and 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 responsibility is in is in the, the values that you have right that you want to dictate your family to yeah, have. Yeah. You know, uh, how you carry yourself around the house, mm -hmm. how you love your woman. Yes, very important. You get? Yeah. How you love, and not yeah. just love, how you love her. Yeah. Truthfully. Yes. You know, without, without yes. <laughs> you yes. know, sometimes yes. I've, I've seen these things around my, yeah. uh, my cycle. Yes. Yes. And uh, people who are abled mm -hmm. financially mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they're providing very yes. well. Yes. And they, they are driving nice cars. Mm -hmm and they have a, this woman that uh, quote unquote they love, is, yes. but outside that, yeah. they are very promiscuous. I agree, I hear And they're like, once mm -hmm. I do the things that a man is supposed, supposed to, do, to do, then nobody is supposed to ask me ask anything. Ask me anything, including that woman. That is not responsibility. Yes, and I think on the same note, you can assert, uh, because uh, again, fatherhood doesn't mean the perfect family setup. Yep. Yep. Basically yes. the mother of the children, yes. yep. regardless of who they are, I think, Besides love, there should be respect. Yes. Even if you're not with the mother of your children, because you need to show your children the kind of a man you are. Boy, girl, they need to see. So and yes. it takes it takes a mature man. Yes. Which now still uh, retreats back back to responsibility yes. to be able to even respect your woman. Yes. Whether you are with them. Yes. Or, you or are without not. them. Exactly. Because again, mm -hmm. it's not about you. Yeah, it's not <laughs> but about you. funny enough, sometimes men feel that it's always about them. True. You know, <laughs> yeah. it, uh, if it's not about you, then yes. it should be about the kids. Uh -huh. You know. Yeah. And uh, and there's another thing that I've seen and I've heard go around and people mention a lot that you can be a good father mm -hmm. but a bad husband, it's which true. is wrong. Whoa, which is wrong. it's wrong. Okay. First of all, you yes. need to be a good husband. Uh -huh. Okay. For you to be a good father. Finally, someone who you know? I agree <laughs> with. <laughs> it's true. You need to be a good husband yes. to be a good father. Because yes. what is fatherhood? 
part of being fatherhood is being a husband. It's true. It's from, a, or it's from being a husband mm -hmm. that we have a father. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. So if you're not treating this woman right, mm -hmm. because how is this kid supposed to learn how to be a father Absolutely. and how to be a man? Yeah. It's how you treat that woman. Yeah. How, and by treating, I mean how you love her, how you, you help her around yeah. the house. Yeah. That, that is when the kid will be able to learn. I, I agree. And, and I could pick a lot of examples also from Hillary's story where he says, ah, my dad used to cook for us whenever yes. mom would go to shags yes. and it didn't the dad didn't need to tell them I love you guys so much lakini mtajipanga leo you know <laughs> yes. he, he was like my kids need to eat uh, I know I'm a macho man and I can tell um, if anything, if your dad looks anything like you, I think he's all alpha, <laughs> all alpha, or if you look anything like your dad, because you can tell also there's a matter of, again, correct me if I'm wrong, because I'm not a man, but I feel men who tend to behave contrary to what they're supposed to do, either towards their partners, towards their children, they have a very fragile ego. Yep. I've also met men who have made it in life, they have everything now we all wish to have a stable career they settled their homes they have a wonderful retirement mm -hmm. plan they have all this but then every day they go home their dad their dad we've seen even the most powerful men uh -huh. in yes. the world yes. uh, barack obama yes. you can tell his dad yes. and I, I have just done my own personal study and i realized that these men who tend to think that by treating um a a, a woman or a weaker person than they are, I think it's just uh, an aspect of who they are. And it all comes down to immaturity. Emotional, no, it's emotional, emotional yes. weakness. Weakness, yes. exactly. It's emotional weakness. Exactly. But they never really realize it's emotional weakness. Yes. Because for them, masculinity is more about how you sound. Yeah. But it's not about being, you know, you can be very soft. Yes. But you, you still pass the you, message you across. Pass the message. Yep, you can be very yes. firm and yes. very soft at yes. the same time. Yes. So most people who have an ego, yes. they don't realize yes. that they they have what them uh, they have an emotional imba mm -hmm. imbalance yeah. that didn't maybe there was something that happened in between their childhood that and contributes the, a lot to, to where that. They are. Yes. Yeah. It, so sometimes they yes. they can't even know True. that that is what is affecting them. Mm, mm. But anytime you'll find a man mm. who has an ego, mm. it's an emotional thing. I, I agree, yeah. and you, yeah. they tend to have the same patterns from misquity. Mm -hmm. They become deadbeat dads. Yes, they try to find validation, validation. by doing and, all. And that. another yes. thing, another yes. thing that yes. uh, also they really like a lot mm. is not being. Counter. They yes. don't want oh, to be accountable to anyone. anyone, and especially their spouse. Yes. And in one area, the, uh, one particular area, yeah. which is finances, they True. never really want to be accountable, especially on finances. No. What I do with my money is my business. It's true. As long as food is in the house, the house is okay, the car, the kids are going to school. Wow. Don't ask me anything. Wow. My business is my business. Right. So what I what they earn, their yes. investments, yeah. they never want to be accountable yeah. to any especially their spouse. Exactly. And that is a true characteristics of, of somebody a, who is not responsible as a father. Yeah, and I can tell you this, Jeff, they're getting worse. There are men who actually don't even want to bother. They want the women to take care of them and they want to be the lion in the house. They won't do even the simplest tasks. You know, there's a way um, a man can, um, like, like we say, it's a, it's a balance, two partners. There's a reason why it's a partnership, a relationship, a marriage, an institute. Two people who have to balance each other. And I think also with this new generation, there's that aspect of extreme laziness. Yep. Um, uh, and it's a pattern. Look around, uh, a pattern. and I've seen it also even uh, in developed countries mm. like the U.S. Mm. Somebody has a string of baby mamas. Yep. <laughs> and and to them, it's normal. Yeah, it's normal. You know? Yeah, unfortunately, they have to work like ten jobs, <laughs> you know, because they have to feed all these yeah. kids. Yeah, Here in Kenya, it's unfortunate, support, right? Yeah. Here in Kenya, it's unfortunate they get away with a lot of it. True. Uh, but uh, we can see the gap, and I wish we can continue this conversation. But uh, the show uh, has to end. Uh, what I would like to ask is, um, uh, uh, Jeff, uh, maybe if you have final words for dads out there, for even a word of hope for moms who are raising their kids on their own, what would you tell them? If you're a father out there finding themselves in a situation where they, they are going to be fathers and they don't know what to do, know that we are here 
people who have been there who are, who, who are ready to work with you in that journey yeah. and support you mm -hmm. and n help you understand that you know what fatherhood is an amazing thing yes. that you just need to accept yes. and embrace yes. and if you're a single mom out yes. there raising a kid alone yeah. First of all, accept that you cannot do what a father can do. <laughs> you start by accepting that part, yes. and then now going out there to probably be intentional in terms of seeking information Absolutely. on how to be. Yeah, or, or even getting a trusted uh, father figure yes. into the kids' lives. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Hilary, the same question. For me, I'll say uh, being a father is spiritual. Okay, wow. it's a huge responsibility, right? And uh, once you're given responsibility, there'll be provision around it, yeah. So it depends on how you look at it. True. Fatherhood is not as difficult as it sounds because mm -hmm. being a father is a big word, it is, uh, <laughs> it, it, it is fun, yeah. Uh, what matters is uh, how intentional are you about it? Anything in this life is about how intentional are you Absolutely. about it? If you're intentional about it, you'll always find ways and means, and I it agree. will work for you, yes, yep. I yes. Think uh, for those single mothers out there, yes. just like Jeff said, yes. you cannot do it on your own. Yes. There's that stage that your kids will need that voice, figure. that father that, figure yes, around. Yes. So you have your brothers, your sisters, your uncles, uh, there are those people who can always Trust fill in that shoe yes. because sometimes it's unfortunate the fathers will not be there, Absolutely. but the figures will be there. Absolutely. That's what we're talking about, a father figure. Yes. So it's not about the biological, just yes. like you said. Yes. Uh, it's about a figure that is ready to step up yes. and make sure mm -hmm. I'm taking responsibility for this life. Mm -hmm. And you know, this life totally depends on you. Yes. If you decide they're going to lose it, they'll lose it. They'll if lose you decide it. they're going to have life in abundance, it depends on you Absolutely. and the path Yes. but to put them through. Intentionality. Yep. Wow. Thank you so much for joining me. I want to have you guys again because this conversation is so important. And again, with present fatherhood and uh, the master classes that will be coming up, please, whatever you need from us, we're ready okay. <laughs> to help and support you. I think okay. it's a wonderful and worthy and a very necessary course. And I'm sure this is just the beginning of it all. Um, so absolutely. please let us know. Absolutely. Great, I cannot emphasize more than this wonderful gentleman who happen to be dads of two each <laughs> have beyond this. Uh, but one thing I've taken home with me is that for you to be a parent, and I mean a father, <laughs> you have to be intentional. And I wish there was a change of attitude whereby, you know, the way mothers just decide, you know what, I'm going to raise my kids. If only there was the same effort with the dads. Can you imagine what a world would be living in? The law doesn't have to force you to be a father. Uh, circumstances don't need to force you to be a father. Just love that child and you'll have left a wonderful mark in the world. This has been The Nest. I'm Maureen Waititu. Thank you very much. Tomoka Coffee Africa. Thank you, my wonderful crew. Thank you, Fashion Clinic, for dressing me. and. Uh, do not miss the next show, same time, same place. Meanwhile, have a good night.